I got a long way to go, you know, but I think that I've made some big steps this year in the way that I've approached games than I did in the past. And, you know, the biggest thing, you know, for me is getting the respect around the league. There's not a lot of guys I'd pay some money to watch play. That's one of them. He is a monster. That's the best way to put it. Now Minnesota, the only team to be eliminated in the first round, six consecutive seasons. Losing hurts. Losing hurts. What I'm gonna do? Quit? I'm gonna quit? That's not even in my vocabulary. Kevin Garnett would enjoy great individual success in Minnesota, becoming one of the best players of his generation and taking home the league MVP award in 2004. But that wouldn't be enough to satisfy his hunger for winning an NBA title. And after three more years of disappointment, he knew it was time for a change. I'm a very passionate player, but the one thing that hurts more than anything is losing. What's refreshing about this whole panel up here is knowing that each and every night I have an above average chance to win. It feels good to have two big guns on the side of me. It feels real good. No way in the world I thought we'd get a player of uh, KG's magnitude. I thought maybe we'd get another piece or two, but no way I thought we'd get KG. And it was just like, man, wow. This is just like icing on the cake. Hey, this, these talks sound real special, y'all. Look, we stay together. Only people who can beat us is ourselves, right here. Right, so right, right. What we go through throughout the game, we stay together, all right? We're all brothers, fellas. Everybody's together. It's a journey, right? No here, matter man. what. Boston's new look roster clicked immediately, tying the 1960 Celtics squad for the best start in franchise history. And right in the middle of it all was Kevin Garnett. Pierce enters to Garnett, turns to face on Aldridge, drives strong baseline, floats it off the window and in, scored, and the foul and the ticket is carrying the Celtics. He's a freak show. He is a freak show. They start off 20 and 2, and they just really just met. <laughs> The Boston Celtics reminding you that this is the best team in the NBA in 07-08. They're more like a family. They're not a bunch of individuals. And it's amazing that they've been able to do this this fast. Pass deflected by Eddie House. Picked off by Pierce. Ray Allen for the game. Got it at the buzzer. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Even with the star power of Garnett, Paul Pierce, and Ray Allen, the Celtics' real strength is their ability to rely on each other. One of the things we all agreed upon is to, um, that we're all, all going to have to make some sacrifices. Who cares who makes all-star games? Who cares who gets the credit? We're trying to win a ring here, and it's bigger than just the stats and the small things that, that break teams apart. I listen, I listen, I listen. When we play you down like that, I want you to get right here. Let us say, Pat, I want you to come sit right here. Where he's been, as great as he was, he's won absolutely nothing. So he's just one piece. So here, he's learning how to use everything he has for a team now to be successful. Because he knows that that's what it's going to take. Garnett doesn't get by on talent alone. It's his fierce intensity and tireless work ethic that define his greatness. I like being the example because I do it the right way. I put into this every night what I have to do to be successful, the energy, the passion. I've never known to take off. I've never known to hold back. I've, I've always been taught to just leave it out there. I knew he had intensity. I just didn't know it was to a level that I've never seen before, and it's every day on every bus ride, it's, on, it's, it's unbelievable. Al struggles, throws it out, Telfair, knocked away, ball game. Kevin Garnett. Yes, we knew he had a great reputation. Yes, we knew he was an all-star player. Yes, we knew he was an all-time player. But you do not know everything he brings until you see him on a regular basis. Kevin has become an instant fan favorite in Boston, thanks to his appreciation for those who came before him, 
and for understanding what it means to be a Celtic. I always said you were my favorite player to watch. And you never disappointed me. And you finally got on the right uniform. I finally got on the right uniform. I'll see you tomorrow. Right? Okay, take care. The tradition that comes uh, with this organization, I'm proud of that. I'm proud to be a part of that. When you come in here and you put the green on, responsibility comes with that. Everybody who's put on the green jersey and come in here and given everything they've had to achieve greatness. Every time I suit up, I think about that. Some people call it pressure. I look at it as being honored.